I know, I know, you guys are thinking, wait, hold on, back up. And you're completely right. I have a new profile here for you guys, dedicated for the Black Ops 6 multiplayer. I've been testing it now the last three days, basically on every single game that I had. And I was trying all the possible settings, trying to figure out, okay, what's working the best here. As usually, you have the profile here down below in the link. You can simply download it, import it, and straight ahead go play. But I also like to explain to you what happened here. So generally, we don't have any kind of scripts running here. If you want a no recall script, which is against the TOS, once again, you can get banned for that, and you should get banned for that. Big disclaimer. But if you want one, let me know down below in the comment section. I will create one for the most, let's call it this way, top three, four guns, and I make you an anti-recall pattern for that one. It's not really a biggie. But let's get back to the profile here. First of all, what I did is, of course, making sure that I have, again, the PS controller inside because, you know, I like the, the, the button layout of the PS controller. Plus, I'm using a PS controller. On the touchpad, I have pass-through so that I can use the map as well. But now let's go through the changes that I implemented. First of all, I set the dead zones on my left and on my right sticks to 005. In-game, I have them both at zero. Uh, if you have still stick drift in-game, you can still adjust it in-game. So I recommend really like that you keep it here at 005. When it comes then to the anti dead zone, this is really like where I was playing a lot. So on my left stick, I like to have a 005, okay? That's the major change that we have here. But on my right stick, I changed it to 010. I was trying all the different setups, 05, 020, 025. You don't want to play on 020 or 025 with Black Ops 6. You want to have it on 010. If it's still too much of shaky for you, you can still reduce it going down all the way down to 00, even if you want to remove it at all. But what we did in addition here is we changed the output curve again to hands precision. If you remember, we had this in the past. Uh, since season four, I was recommending to go with linear setup. Now I would recommend to go again with the enhanced precision. Though I'm not really sure it's actually even overwriting anymore the in-game settings which you're choosing. I was trying to test it as much as possible, but I didn't feel that much of a difference. So let's go with the enhanced precision just to be sure. And no, it will be not a double curve in case you're asking. If you want more details what it is for and what the output curve is doing, I can do a separate video on that one if you really guys are interested. Please let me know down below in the comment section. Otherwise, you can watch one of the older videos that I have. And this is it for the for the moment. This is what we would like to have, okay? This is this is our setting. Okay, guys? Anything else we will not change. I will be trying to play around a little bit with the fuzz and with the anti-snapback. I really need to deep dive here in the documentation to understand it fully what it's doing. But I think we can get here some proper tuning, especially with Black Ops 6 being super shaky all the time. Uh, I have here a couple of clips for you guys so you can see, okay, how this will look like. But generally, you want to import this profile and use it in Black Ops 6 multiplayer. If you like this kind of content, and if you like this video, make sure that you drop a like and hit the subscribe button. It would help me tremendously to spread the awareness. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, go to our homepage, easygamevpn.com. You can find there the best VPN available for Warzone and Black Ops 6 at the moment. And of course, I will show you as well my in-game settings so that you can compare it exactly with your settings that you have. As you can see here in my settings, I have my sensitivity set to 1010. So this is something that I trained, you know, on myself that I get the sensitivity up to 1010. And when it comes to the in-game dead zones, this is exactly my configuration. So I have a 0, 0 left and right stick. This is also because we have, you know, the dead zone already adjusted inside the DS4. You can play around a little bit, you know, to have it more or less. These are all up to you. We can test it here, as you can see, perfectly no dead zone. Uh, the right stick max I leave at 99, but the left stick I like to have at 35 because I don't want to, you know, stretch it too much. And when it comes to the aiming, I have the following settings set up so you guys can compare it with yours. Sensitivity multiplier, everything set here on one. I have the, in the advanced settings, I have it to instant set and the response curve is on dynamic and I have it set to one like standard, standard. And the custom sensitivity presume is for me, pretty standard. I have it always at one, except when, you know, it's going a little bit higher than it's at zero nine. Maybe in future, I will change it to zero seven, but this is all depending how the snipers will develop later on and how usable they will get. That being said, I hope this helps you. Again, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button. See you on the next one.